with um, fresh investigations into reports of racist behaviour from Chelsea fans on a train from London to Manchester. New figures reveal a rise in the number of incidents of discrimination in football. According to anti-racism group Kick It Out, complaints have increased by more than a third on the previous campaign, while the Football Association said it has seen an increase of 70 um, percent. Well, joining me now is a digital sports editor at the Evening Standard, Amar um, Singh. So these are real worrying figures in terms of it looks like in the world of football, and, and discrimination, things are going backwards. Um, well, I wouldn't say necessarily it's worrying. I think mm. the fact that more uh, of these incidents are being reported mm. shows that there's a greater intolerance towards this sort of behaviour mm. and that people are not hesitating to report. They feel they can report. And I think in many ways you can welcome the fact that more people are, are getting in touch with the FA, mm. getting in touch via sort of kick it out and organisations like that to say we're not going to tolerate it. So do you, you think that's what it is, the fact that um, people, more people are coming out to talk about it, not the fact there is actually a rise when you do go to footballing events or come into contact with football fans? I'd say it's a bit of both really because, you know, you, you, if you look at, for example, the emergence of social media mm. and how many football fans now use forums like Twitter uh, to express their views and you see a lot of racism on Twitter when it comes to football every day and a a lot of things like homophobia and anti-Semitism, you know, you do get this underbelly, which mm. is pretty awful. Um, so I think in some ways it's given intolerance a bit more of a, another platform. Mm. But the fact that so many people are reporting it, like I said, is something that should be welcomed. And when you actually look at the type of discrimination and the type of abuse, you've got racist abuse, faith-based abuse, um, sexism, um, discrimination against people with disabilities. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it's awful. But, you know, like I said, I think overall with, with, with racism and football, you know, in the 70s and 80s it was overt. You had people going to the grounds, uh, you know, throwing banana skins at footballers, mm. booing, mm. cheering, shouting, you know, really offensive words. And I think what's happened with racism is that it's now become uh, less overt. But there are issues to do with race in football, such as, uh, you know, the lack of black coaches, which we've discussed before, uh, the lack of Asian players coming through the system. And, you know, the World Cup, uh, the next World Cup is going to be taking place in Russia. And a report came out last week uh, by FAIR, Football Against Racism in Europe, saying they have real concerns about the safety of, of black visitors. So, you know, racism hasn't gone away in football. It's still a problem. And I don't think the FA should be, you know, slapping each other on the backs because of this just yet. But it shows that we're heading in the right direction. But you're absolutely right, CL. There are issues such as anti-Semitism, of course, which was brought to the fore recently with the video of the West Ham fans no, after the Tottenham and, and game. And the owners are Jewish. What was that about? Exactly. I mean, it's just it's, it's idiocy and it's hypocrisy. And we saw the same with the so-called Chelsea supporters mm. in Paris. You know, mm. half of the heroes in their team are, are black players, yet they wouldn't let a black guy onto the train. So it's hypocrisy and, you know, it's very much the underbelly of football rather than the mainstream of football. But like I said, football needs to... Um, needs to not rest on its laurels, mm. keep, keep doing some good work and, 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 and actually put, num put names on the team sheet and put, put you know, numbers on the board, put faces in the boardroom to actually show that uh, it's, it's changing and football, which is our game and we love it, it's our national game and we absolutely love it, is, is moving forward with the world. So Emma, clearly more work to be done. Listen, thanks so much for joining us on London Live News.